Yo, what is on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how installing these metal air scoops can give your vehicle better throttle response, better airflow, and overall, they just look pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So here we have the package that they came in. So we're gonna go ahead and just open this up. And as you can see inside, we have our Ram air scoops for the intake. And overall, they feel really nice. They're made of metal, they're bubble wrap. So let's go ahead and take these out. And bam, just like that, we have our Ram air scoops for the intake. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. All right guys, so now I'm gonna explain what this air scoop actually does. So as you're driving, obviously, air is gonna come in through your grills, it's gonna cool off your radiator, etc. but it's gonna come up through your air intake. So this little nostril right here is where the air comes up and supplies to the rest of the vehicle for your engine to operate. Now where this design is kind of lackluster in my opinion is if the air is coming in through the grill here and the nostrils up here, that air has to basically bounce off the radiator and the car just doesn't get an ample amount of oxygen into the actual system. I mean, if the air is coming in through here and the nostrils up here, there's nothing to actually route that air into the vehicle. And so that's where this Ram air scoop comes into place, guys. So the air is basically gonna come off this metal surface, very smooth, allows the air to move in a very effective manner. The air is gonna scoop off of this little Ram air scoop into the nostril and the engine itself. And that should provide basically better airflow to the engine and also a little bit better on throttle response, at least when you're going highway speeds, direct supply of air to the engine. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and install these Ram air scoops. All right, so first thing we're gonna do for this installation is remove the little T15 screws held right here and right here. But I just keep zip ties for convenience because it seems like I always lose this tool. So what I'm gonna do is basically break off my zip tie, pull that out. Same thing right over here. If you're ever breaking a zip tie, break it sideways, not up and down. It makes it a lot easier. Bam, just like that. From here, you're literally just gonna remove your nostril, make sure it's cleaned out. Give it a nice little blow, put that off to the side. And so now we have our Ram air scoops. And basically how these are gonna install is they're gonna go straight down into this hole, just like that. And as you guys can see, this little crescent shape is gonna go to the side of the hole right here because there's supposed to be a little piece that holds this into place, but I don't have it, not a huge deal. So the one scoop is gonna go to the right side and the other scoop will go to the left. And as well, you can see that the edge of this Ram Air scoop is larger. That way this doesn't fall in on themselves. Even if you try to pull it forward, uh, it won't actually fall in. So that's very convenient. Now, the only thing we're gonna do is basically throw that nostril right back on top. And basically how these are gonna align is the scoop is basically gonna hug into these little seams right here. And now if you're like me, zip ties is the way to go. So we're literally just gonna reinsert this back. Make sure that the middle slot aligns. You may have to push it down, give it a little bit of force. And you will have to work with it. It's easier if you come in from the front to the rear and then push it into place from there. And then once your holes down here line up and everything looks flush, now we can zip tie it or put your screw back in, whatever you prefer. And then we're just gonna cut off the excess. Sweet. But as you can see, the hole's starting to line up. You'll still see a little on the back end, that's fine. As long as the hole lines up and everything looks all good, then yeah, we're solid. And now if you wanna add a flare of color, you could do red, you could do a different color. I wanted the black because I wanted them to be very incognito. It shouldn't cover up the radiator enough to make it like overheat or anything. Uh, you still have all that surface area here to cool off. But yeah, guys, I think they look great. Now the only negative I can think of since these Ram Air scoops or right behind the grill. I would say if it's raining or if you're washing your car and the water comes in the scoop, after the air actually travels through the system and hits the air filter, I don't think moisture in the engine will be an issue. But what I think is maybe your air filter will preemptively wear out on you just a little bit quicker than usual. So I'd maybe pay close attention to that. If you're not changing your air filter every year, every two years, that's definitely something you should do. I think your air filter may wear out a little bit quicker or you may get moisture in the air filter. But again, I don't think this will harm the engine. Overall, this is an easy way to enhance airflow for a pretty cheap price. And if you want to add some color to your car, you can do a red option, yellow, blue. That looks really good. I'll flash a picture up right now. But again, black was just the color I wanted to go for. Very incognito, matches my grills and etc. But yeah, overall, I would call this modification a huge success. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is hop in the car because I want to take this thing out for a drive. 
maybe take it on the highway and see if I can feel anything. Maybe it's a placebo effect. Maybe the engine will just feel a little bit healthier like it can breathe, but I do want to see if this makes any difference at all. So come on, we're going to hop in the car. Let's go. And one thing I definitely noticed, guys, is as the car is picking up speed, it feels like the throttle response is better. So when I'm going like 20 miles an hour, I don't feel a difference. So now that I'm at about 40, 50 miles an hour, now when I apply the gas, I mean, the car, I feel it goes a lot more effortlessly. I think because at that speed, you're getting maximum air into the actual scoops themselves because you're getting all that wind resistance. And it could be a placebo effect, but I really don't think so. I mean, I know my car very, very, very well. Here at Panera Bread. Crazy guys, for once I'm buying something that's not car parts. I'll secure the Panera bag. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. This is a nice modification to do for a pretty low end price point. I mean, I got these scoops for a pretty low price, link down below where you can get yours. But even then they're made of aluminum, not plastic. So they're not gonna preemptively wear out on you. They're not gonna deform. I mean, they're metal. Air travels over metal a lot better than it does over plastic. So overall, I would consider these for any of y'all out there who have a BMW, any car really. They look nice. You can spice up the front end if you add like red or yellow or color coordinate your car. Or if you just want better throttle response or better airflow, especially at highway speeds, this is definitely worth it and I would highly recommend it. As always, if you are not subscribed, smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I'm dropping a lot of sick videos, a lot of modifications, etc. that you're going to want to stay in the loop on. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for the support and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.